Good morning, everyone. God is so big and so amazing. Once we become Christians, how can we get closer to this amazing God? This month, we're going to take a look at the four big ways that we can grow closer to God. Along the way, we'll discover God truths that will stick with us for the rest of our lives. Today, you'll need a Bible, paper, something to write or draw with, your God Truths wall or treasure box, listening ears, and a heart ready to hear from God. Got all that? Let's get started. This week, we're going to be talking about obedience. 1 John 5.3 says, In fact, this is love for God, to obey His commands. And His commands are not burdensome. We can love God by obeying God. So this week, we're going to talk about sharing Jesus with others, serving other people, loving people, and obeying Jesus' commands. What's up, Gina? Oh, hey, Elisa. Hey, kids. I'm just chilling. Now that I'm a Christian, there's nothing I have to do. Whoa, 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 Gina. Becoming a Christian isn't the end of the story. God has things for you to do. Really? He has a mission for you, and you. Once you become a Christian, God has important stuff for you to do. Ready to find out about your missions? Oh, I'm ready, I'm ready. Me too. What's the mission? Are you ready too? God has a big mission for us, and some little missions too. We can love God by obeying God. Do you know anybody who doesn't know Jesus? Take a minute and think of three people you know who don't know Jesus. Then, write their names down. Before Jesus left, he gave us a big mission, to tell others about him. Jesus said before he left, go and make disciples of all nations. A disciple is someone who follows Jesus. He wants us to tell others about him so that they can follow Jesus too. Raise your hand if you know Jesus. If you know Jesus, then you get to go to heaven someday. But if somebody doesn't know Jesus, then they can't go to heaven someday. Jesus doesn't want that. Jesus wants everybody to go to heaven. 2 Peter 3.9 says, He doesn't want anyone to be destroyed. Instead, he wants all people to turn away from their sins. That's a God truth. Write down that 2 Peter 3.9 says that Jesus wants everyone to go to heaven. So we need to tell all those people on your list about Jesus. That's our big mission. We can love God by obeying God and grow closer to him that way. Um, Rory? (laughs) Rory? Uh, uh, Lisa, uh, it's just you. Why are you hiding? Uh, Who are you hiding from? Uh, I'm hiding from my friend Ian. Why? Well... Because he doesn't know Jesus, and I thought it'd be pretty cool to tell him about Jesus. Well, that's awesome, Rory. Yeah, but, well, I'm scared. Scared? You? Yeah. I mean, what if, what if I tell him about Jesus and he laughs at me? What if, what if he stops being my friend because he thinks I'm weird? What if, what if I mess up and he doesn't become a Christian and he doesn't get to go to heaven? It's perfectly normal to be scared, Rory. God asks us to do scary things sometimes. But it's not your job to change Ian's mind about Jesus. It isn't? No, that's the job of God the Holy Spirit. It's our big mission just to tell Ian about Jesus. Then Ian has to make his own choice. We obey and God changes hearts. Oh, that's less pressure on me. Yep, God will be with you the whole time. He'll give you courage if you ask him for it. And the more that we do it, the easier the big mission gets. By obeying Jesus and completing his big mission for us, we show our love for him and we can grow closer to God. Jesus has a big mission for us, to tell others about him. But he also has some little missions for us. Things like, say hi to that new kid or help mom with groceries, or forgive someone who hurts you, or even work hard in school. The missions can be a little bit bigger sometimes, like sometimes God will say to a family, 
move to a new state, or change jobs. Now, now that we are Christians, we can do these little missions that God has for us every day. Ephesians 2.10 says this, Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. So when you wake up, ask God what he wants you to do today. Tell him that you're willing to do what he wants you to do. Then pay attention to try to find the little missions that God has for you that day. Man, this week's Sunday School lesson was so simple. Just love everyone. I know, isn't it? Today, my sister let me put on her switch all morning. I love her so much. My friends and I were helping out each other with science homework. I really do love them. They're so cool. Loving people is so easy. What about when people aren't nice to you? Is it easy to love them then? Well, that's still kind of. Not easy. Not easy at all. Whoa, what happened to you, Penny? I'll tell you what happened. The Wildcats cheated. I had the ball, I was about to score, and they tripped me right into a puddle. I hate all of them. How rude. Maybe next time you should trip them. Wait, but what about loving everyone? That's true. Jesus says in the Bible that we should love our enemies for those who hurt us. Wait, wait, wait. He wants me to love them? After they cheated, they tripped me, and they called us all losers? No way. Doesn't Jesus know how mean they are? Well, have you ever been mean to someone? Well, I... As her cousin, I can confirm that she absolutely has. I think we've all been mean before. I... I... Yes, I could be. Everyone's done bad things, but God still loves us. And God still loves that Wildcats player who tricked you. You know, what, what they did was wrong, and I'm sorry that happened to you. But God wants us to show the same love to them that he shows to us. But I don't feel love. Well, love's not just a feeling. Love is a choice. You can choose to hate that Wildcats player who hurt you, or you can choose to love them to pray for them, and to be kind to them, even when they don't deserve it. Just like what Jesus does for me. Exactly. And when we obey God by loving others, we grow closer to him, too. We can love God by obeying God. Okay, I guess one way I can love that Wildcats player is to forgive her. I choose love. So now that we've discovered that we can love God by obeying God, let's do it. Take a minute to pray. Ask God what little missions he might have for you today. Remember to listen. If God brings a person to your mind, maybe he wants you to help that person. Philippians 2, 4 says, Each of you should look out not just for your own good. Each of you should also look out for the good of others. What's one way today that you can look out for somebody else's good? Maybe you could surprise your mom and dad by helping out with chores. Or maybe you and your family could go pack food boxes for homeless people. Or maybe you know somebody who needs to know about Jesus. Try to find one way today that you can fulfill Jesus' missions for you. The big mission and the little missions. We can love God by obeying God.